Hello everyone, and welcome to another deck showcase video. Today we have a mid-range tri-element deck featuring Xing Cho, the newly released Klee, and Fischl. This deck's access to three different reactions gives it a handful of options. However, the main weapon at its disposal will be vaporized by utilizing Xing Cho's burst and Klee's abilities. The first half of the combo is Xing Cho's burst, Rain Cutter which does 1 hydro damage to the enemy, and then creates Rainbow Blade Work that does 2 hydro damage each time a character does a normal attack for 3 uses. This will synergize best with Klee's normal attacks, especially after using her skill Jumpty Dumpty, which in addition to doing 3 pyro damage to the enemy, gives Klee an explosive spark that says that charge attacks will cost 1 less die and deal 1 additional damage. The charge attacks are triggered when Klee does a normal attack, while there are an even number of dice available. And these charge attacks still count as normal attacks, so they still trigger Sing Cho's burst to attack as well, and can do large amounts of damage that can get out of hand very quickly if left uncontested. As for Klee's burst, it deals 3 pyro damage and inflicts the opposing active character with sparks and splash, which deals 2 pyro damage to the afflicted character whenever they attack. This can help counter more aggressive decks, however it does take 3 energy to use, so it's more likely to be used mid-game to slow down an opponent's aggressive start. And even though Sing Cho and Klee are the main combo, Fischl's role in the deck is still an important one. By using her skill in summoning Oz, Fischl can allow for us to transition to either Overload or Electrocharged reactions, although more often than not, we'll use her for Overload to disrupt the opponent's combos and cause them to spend dice swapping characters. Oz's end phase Electro attack on the active opposing character will also pair well with Klee's burst, since if the opponent attacks with that character, they'll overload themselves for 4 damage. Additionally, Fischl's Burst will do 4 Electro damage to the opposing active character and 2 Piercing to all others, allowing for a good way to close out games or set up for the Klee Sing Cho combo to finish off the opponent. Also, when Fischl has her skill card Stellar Predator equipped, her normal attacks will cause Oz to fire a 2 damage Electro attack at the enemy as well. This can be a useful alternative to pair of Sing Cho's Burst if Klee goes down, or if we need to activate an Overload reaction with Fischl attacking into a Pyro-affected character. Getting into the rest of the deck, we run two copies of Stellar Predator for Fischl, and two copies of Pounding Surprise for Klee. Pounding Surprise uses Klee's skill and gives her an extra use of the Explosive Spark, allowing for two charge attacks for two dice each. This can combo well with Gambler's Earrings to gain another two Omni Dice after defeating an opposing character and allow for Klee to use her second charge attack and potentially continue the chain of attacks. Because both Klee and Fischl have three energy cost bursts, to help with energy generation, we have one copy of Liu Su to give energy to a character without any when we switch to them, two copies of Star Signs to surprise the opponent with a sudden burst, and one copy of Calx's Arts. In situations where we have to swap characters a lot to avoid reactions, Liu Su and Kalx's arts can help get a burst out without needing to attack much. We also run two copies of Leave It To Me to help with quick swapping and setting up unavoidable combos on the enemy. Now, because this deck is more of a mid-range ramp deck, we run quite a few card draw and dice ramp cards in this deck, starting with the 3-cost Paimon to generate two Omni dice for two turns. We also have two copies of Timmy for both dice generation and card draw, two copies of Chang the Ninth for more card draw, and since we have quite a few ways to set up elemental reactions, we should be able to get three elemental reactions quickly, but if that fails, we also have two copies of Strategize to fall back on for drawing two additional cards from our deck. To also help with both dice and energy, we have two copies of I Haven't Lost Yet to get us back in the game if we lose a character. For healing, we have two copies of Mushroom Pizza, two copies of Mondstadt Hash Browns, and two copies of Favonius Cathedral. Now, for dice rigging, we only have two copies of the Bestest Travel Companion. However, this isn't too big of an issue, since we have numerous ways to create Omni Dice, and we tend to focus on normal attacks more than anything once we get our combo going. But with all of that out of the way, let's try out the deck in some matches and see how it goes. Okay, up against a Hydro Resonance Electrocharge deck. 
Gonna have to worry about Mona's burst probably more than anything. Singcho's burst will certainly be a thing, but Mona's burst will be the big one to be concerned about. How do we want to start this? We got a lot of card draw here. Tons of card draw. Do we go with the Sing Cho? Do we go with Fischl and the Predator? We do have that there and a lot of card draw. Maybe we go with this. It might give us a faster way to start doing some decent damage. Uh, we'll save those right there. Yeah, it looks like we have plenty of Electro for it. Your penance is due! for the shield, but that means they won't be... Oh, well, never mind. They've got the dice, so they're using one of their dice early. No, Elemental skill to get rid of the electro effect there. Fair enough. We are fine to attack into that and deal some damage. Gets us closer to that. They'll end their turn. We can do some card drawing, perhaps get a heal off on Fischl if we draw food. And we do. That's going to be important. They will very likely burst. So we have to be prepared for that. They'll get a heal back to 9, which is unfortunate. And then they'll also remove the Electro. I think we keep the two Hydro, just in case we need to swap to Sing Cho. A pizza on him, fair enough. They know they're going to burst and leave, that's fine. We gain energy, also not bad, so we could just outright burst with her. Three and then two to a bunch of other people here. This isn't a bad choice. Or we could always swap over to him and get his burst off with this and Calx's arts. But two is an option. Chivalry will never die. Or just this, but Calx's art's a little better in terms of burst economy. Of course, what are we actually gonna use it on? That's the other question, so I think this works. And we save Fischl's energy. Let me weave you a burst. And then we could either put this on Klee or draw cards. They're going to go for the damage. Okay. We'll end. We'll be able to go first. Of course, we'll probably just swap. So if they're smart, they might quick swap to like Mona or something there. Gonna get the heals off. Kind of a waste of that heal on their part. We have to worry now that the Sino is gonna be doing some electro damage now with just his passive alone. Uh, definitely don't want this. Lots of Hydro that we didn't need.
Now, and they'd be doing four to me as well, so it's, do we really want to risk this? Maybe? Of course, if they did this with the electro damage, that would do five and put you at one. Or it could be five and put me at three. Yeah, I mean three. Uh, not ideal, but perhaps worth doing here. Could also do that for the shield. But I think just getting the damage out here is going to be how this deck wants to operate anyways. Just quick attacks. Yeah, he is going to go for that, knowing that he has the advantage there. Needs to do at least three damage, so this won't matter. We would have to quick swap to someone. Klee is kind of our only option, unless we just want to let Sing Sho die, in which case... We could. We could do this. Yeah, I think we do that. We let Sing Cho die. This won't help us, but this will give us a bit of a shield to help in the future. And we still have two of this, where they'll have one. Unless they intend to burst here. No, they're going to go for the heal. And the normal attack. I have taught you everything I That's fine. Know. If we did that would be four, that would be four as well. I mean we're not gonna get that, so the best choice is to get this off. Dumpy, dumpy, go! Either way, it would be four. We now have our burst. We're still keeping things up for her. So they're kind of a turn ahead in terms of life and character here. Uh, we're a turn behind on getting both of these cards. Okay, we definitely want the Pyro and the Electro. Uh, the Omni will work, I guess. We're going to have to do a lot of conversion. Maybe if this is the turn to drop down this. Our opponent could burst again, which is probably what they're going to do, which is unfortunate. Yeah, they're rolling the dice for it as well. So they're out of Hydro Dice. Witness the power of Puhua. We could do that. We could also do that, which is probably what I want to do. I am outplayed. Now this could end up going to okay, it's gonna get a Mona. She doesn't do as much damage, and damaging herself will be good for us. I would have expected them to have gone to Sino. Looks like they're probably aiming for an elemental skill then. Yeah, if they're gonna mulch two. Shadows of fate. They're not using any of these. They are gonna take the damage to that though. Uh, how do we want to do this? We can do this and get six.
odds are they're going to swap. There's no way they're going to let Mona die as well. Or are they? They must be very confident in their ability to use Sino alone. Uh, very, very interesting choice here. My reckoning has come. That would be five. Of course, once this hits four greater damage, it's going to be plus two. So that's going to be, or that's going to be six right there. Uh, I think our best choice is the heal. Heal and then swap, probably. Because Fischl... Mm. Yeah, I think heal and then swap, because Fischl has a better chance of living. In the name of the princessin. Klee would heal to seven, but then get hit by that, go back down to six. And then that would that would do it. This at least keeps Fischl alive. Unless there's something that they have that's going to do a lot of damage there. This is gonna keep Fischl alive for at least a turn. Damage. And that's two. There's no harm in playing that. This would be four, but we'd use all of our stuff. This would be. Mm, I think this is going to be the better choice. We could do that from Klee, or for. I put him at six. This might actually be the better choice now I think about it. Calx's arts. This will put him at six, and then Fischl will most certainly die here. Oh, the heal, that's going to be a big. I think the heal just won them. That well, they only have... Oh my, how close. I do believe we have this just barely by the, the skin of our teeth here because that'll put us at even dice. So unless they have something really good for one dice, I think we might have just eked out the victory. Whew, that was extremely close. Literally, again, another one turn My victory that could have gone either failed. way. Wow, that, that again, really showing the power of Klee's ability to attack for two, saving the match for sure. Very, very close, close match against a Electrocharged deck. Really good matches. Very good. Okay, looks like we are up against a Pyro Resonance Milk deck. So definitely going to have to look out for the Pyro Resonance Reaction buff. That's going to be a big one that we're going to have to pay attention to. And also some surprise dice. We're going to get rid of that. The food might help us.
and I assume Kaya, he's probably going to expect me to use the skill, and that's fine. I'm not going to use the skill except to cleanse Pyro, and especially not going to be able to when I don't draw a single Hydro Dice. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some that we can work with. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of ramp going on here. They do, and that's going to be a little bit concerning, but we do have... We do have this. So they're probably going to use their skill first, but if they're considering it, it might be normal attack. Hmm. Switching to D Luke. Interesting. So they're definitely going for more of a ramp here. They'll definitely go first as well, probably hit with the pyro, but we'll be able to self-vaporize and, and get out of it. In the essence of good dice management, I'm going to put that on her early and then go from there. So they'll be able to attack first, that's fine, but we will be able to clear with our uh, burst. Okay, we don't need any of these. Ooh, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of dice that we need. We're going to be depending on this, especially since we don't have any of our ramp. So that... I'm sacrificing something. Calx's arts might need to go. There's healing there. Definitely going to be a team that wants to do freeze. That's fine. I'm perfectly fine with them freezing. After all, switching off of Sing Cho is no big issue. However... They'll be able to cast that for two and then two again, which will leave them at one to swap back. I'm fine to play into this. I'm not too concerned. Uh, we, we have... This is primarily involved with our win condition, so I'm fine to take a hit there. I'm more concerned by the fact that we don't have a whole lot of dice to work with. Especially if we want to get Klee's ability out. Elemental skill. That's fine. They'll be able to do that again. We do have the Paimon, though. This could be very useful, because we can Paimon into the heal, and that will be fine. However, we won't be able to swap then. So unless we draw a quick swap, that could be a tad bit of an issue. But I do think this is the best use of our dice right now. And I don't think they have any means of actually killing us. Whereas we could end up doing that to them next turn. Especially if we draw a quick swap card. Normal attack for four, that's fine. We'll heal back up to four. Opponents considering their options. I am a bit concerned about the burst there. We aren't going to be able to hit for nine, so that is a bit concerning. Since that's going to be a lot of melt, though they don't have anything for quick swap. So, unless they have it in their hand, it is going to be something that we can dodge and avoid. But this is still a bit tricky to work with. This is going to be a big test against who can deal the most damage the quickest. So I'm really hoping for a Leave It To Me card to be able to quick swap the Klee.
We'll certainly have the dice for it, so we'll definitely be able to use this. Okay, heal. I almost got excited there seeing the Ito card, but that is not what we needed. Okay, let's see. We don't need the Hydro because we're going to switch off of that. Certainly not what I wanted to see here. There is a part of me that is considering just letting Sing So die. And then using that to get Klee's burst out, potentially. It is a bit of a risky move, though. Probably not worth it in the long run. I mean, we do four here with just this alone. But is it worth taking that risk? Now, let's try it. Let, let's see what we can do. It might be better to give us a bit of an advantage here. Elemental Burst, that's fine. Unless they have a means of quick swapping, that's going to be no big issue to us. If they do quick swap, that is going to be a bit unfortunate. Freeze. Uh, the plus to that, awesome. Outplayed. That is fine. Klee can help. That won't save him. Your luck. Ah, this doesn't look good. We'll also have even dice here in a moment. However, that melt is going to hurt a lot. I assume they're going to be willing to sacrifice pretty much any card in their hand for it. Or not. That is a very risky maneuver on their part. That'll be a six, but this won't be enough to kill since we only have one. We will get to two. We don't have the dice. We could also put this on and then switch. That is an option. We will heal the two, though, so... But we will get... I think we're going to likely get hit regardless. So it's better to just do the damage. Both of our healing is up. I still have a pizza in hand to help. Timmy is coming, and then we have the Cathedral, so we may need to use some of our dice for that. Uh, we don't want any of this. We're looking for Pyro and Electro at this point. Okay, enough Pyro to get the job done, definitely with her burst. I'm assuming they'll switch to D-Loop to save the Bennett. It would be silly to just let the Bennett die like this. As expected. That's going to be five damage. That could be a massive issue.
Now, what do they have in hand? Oh, that's going to be... I should have prepared for that one. That's going to be lethal right there. Because that'll be plus three now. I should have played the, the pizza. Yay, I did it! Oh, wait. No, I didn't. However, Fischl may be able to bring this back. Since we have two of these, Official will likely be able to save us here. I think we still manage. That's this is very close and very risky. Oz, reveal thyself. Because Oz will be able to kill there. Of course, we did just cause some serious damage to ourselves. So if they have another one of those, this could be a problem. I didn't think of that. We might not be out of this just yet. However, we do get to go first, so I think we'll be fine. With the pizza, we'll be able to survive. And then the opponent will pretty much guarantee their own demise. Okay, so I definitely actually this just wins the game anyways. As you wish, main Foylight. <laughs> overthinking things there a I moment okay so a pretty close victory again as i said at the beginning that surprise pyro damage buff from the pyro resonance was definitely a big boon to the opponent side but still a pretty good victory over what seems to be a swap melt deck so on to the next okay up against a dendro uh, Dendro Resonance is an interesting one, but a Dendro Resonance Catalyze. Definitely an unexpected choice. Uh, I don't think I want those at the start. Calx's Arts might be a bit greedy, too. Sing Show will be useful will for die. clearing off some reactions. Okay, that's a lot of pyro, which isn't bad. I would like another hydro or an omni here. Um, I'm willing to sacrifice one of those. I want to keep the... We've got the omni. I wanted to keep at least two of the pyro for the healing here. The opponent will attack first. Probably will use Oz. Parametric Transformer. Oz, reveal thyself. Elemental skill. It really won't matter if I clear the the effect or not, because Oz will just reapply it again next turn. So I can still continue with the plan at large. Swap the Kale, that's fine. The opponent will be able to go first then. Placing the Cathedral. And I can do the same. And since they're ending first, mine will heal after Oz hits. So they are going to get their Catalyze off, which is a tad bit annoying, but it is what we need to get this going. So this is going to be another race against damage. 
However, Vaporize will do more in the long run. Don't think we want the Electro just yet. They can clearly see that the Pyro is going to be coming. However, we are short the right dice, so this is going to be a bit of a tricky situation here. They're doing what essentially I'm going to end up needing to do. There's the Catalyze. They are going to get extra dice from the Transformer, though, because there won't be much of a way for me to avoid this. Huh. I don't get that, but we can sacrifice a couple of things. What's worth sacrificing? The energy, maybe? Or official's ability. Official's ability certainly will go well with Sing Cho's burst if we need to swap to him. So I am considering both of our energy cards and then we just keep the quick swap. It's a bit of a greedy option here, but definitely one that we may need to try. They unfortunately get the seven dice, that's fine. Um, depending on what they are, that may or may not be of a huge amount of use for them. It looks like it wasn't enough to let them do another skill, which is what they're aiming for. Lucky Dog certainly is good with Kale. So it does look like they're going to try to use a skill and try to get a little bit of healing before they can sense that they're going to get blasted by Klee, which is fairly accurate. I am probably going to have to sacrifice one of these. The Bloom is unfortunate. That's really going to hurt with Oz if it happens. Okay, then we switch on over to Klee. Klee's here. This is going to be crucial. I do think we sacrifice this to use Klee's skill here and hit for five. Boing, boing, ah! They are, again, going to end first, which is going to be a bit of a problem. We'll get slight heals, not a huge... Well, actually, we'll get huge heals since of that. I forgot about the bloom effect there. So this is going to be a bit tricky. We may have wanted to do slightly more swapping at the beginning to avoid the catalyze in general. Yeah, we can get rid of the Geo. We don't need that. The Pyro will be helpful, though I don't know how long we're going to stay on it. Especially since they may be in a position where they can just kill Klee. Since they'll have Catalyze. The Sino is going to be ready. That's going to do... Three. And then this would do four, unless they have something to buff her with. Which is something that leads me towards wanting... I would like to do that immediately and hit for six. But it may be more prudent to get the heal off on Klee because a single buffing ability will lead her to die. So, in fact, we may be able to do this. And then this, and now we're back down to even numbers. So that way we can get our charge attack off. Now, how will they proceed? Will they switch to Sino? If they stay on Kole, they have to know that she'll die. 
And I don't think they're going to be willing to sacrifice yet. They're going to quick swap to someone probably official. Um, I just realized this isn't Dendro Resonance. I saw the background at the beginning and figured that Sino is Dendro. He is not Dendro, he's Electro. So we actually need to worry about surprise energy. They don't have the means to summon Oz. Yep, surprise energy. They don't have the means to summon Oz, but they can do quite a bit here. That would only be subtract three. Should put them at five. We won't be able to attack again, unfortunately, because we're just a few dice short. Would it be better to just do the subtract three and put them at five then? Klee will die, though, if we don't swap off of her. So I do think we need to swap off of her here. With Catalyze, Klee will 100% die, and I'd prefer that to not happen. Now, who do we... I think we have to swap the Fischl. If we swap to him, yes, he'd be sacrificed, but that would be In the name of the unwise given the circumstances. So they're going to be able to get the Catalyze off again. That will at least give us some card draw, but it is going to be a lot of damage. I don't think we're going to swap to Sing Cho here, so I'm going to get rid of the Hydro and hope for something a little better. A little bit of Electro. Far too much Animo. We do get a Quick Swap, though. That is going to help. That will allow Klee to burst into Fischl and likely kill. Unless they plan to swap the Sino, which would probably be their best choice, and that is what they're going to do. I don't think they'll be able to get 7 off, no. They will use their Catalyze. Now, how do we want to play this? We can play him out. We could try to heal Fischl and then get Oz out. And then swap, potentially. The extra overload damage could be useful. And I don't think they'll do five, even with that, unless they have something to buff, so I do think Fischl lives if we do this. We are going to rest for the probably wicked. need to sacrifice something if we want to get Klee to be able to do... Well, she can do normal attack and still a ton of damage there. course, if we do Overload, I believe it'll push to Kole, and she is not in Death's range of just the swords, else that would help a lot. They are going to Quick Swap, okay. The Fischl, interesting. Are they going to go to summon Oz, I think, if they're sacrificing some cards? Probably. Basically guaranteeing that Catalyze Field remains intact. Oz, yeah. And since we don't really have any means here, uh, we have to think about this now. So it'll be one dice that'll leave us at four if we attack with even just a normal attack. That'll take off three and leave us at one of three, which will be able to do that and maybe swap to somebody else or also heal. I do think we we do this. Help. 
I would rather not have to use Sing Show's last thing here, but at the same time, can we really afford to sacrifice anything? Unless we just wanted to sacrifice the Quick Swap, which probably would have been the better choice now that I think about it, since they're going to end their turn anyways. That was probably the smarter idea than we could have gotten the burst out. Now we risk not having enough heals, depending on the situation here, because that's going to hit for three, and then that's going to hit for two, which is going to do five, leave us at two. This will heal the four, but anything will be able to kill us there. Um, we're we're going to have to waste Sing Cho's burst there. Unfortunately. Ah. Uh, one shall descend once again. Our opponent might be forgetting that they need to just end their turn. I've done it before myself. I think the play is going to be, if we had one more dice, this would work. If we play this and swap to Sing Cho, he still dies. I don't think we play this. I think we just heal and swap to Sing Cho and just let him die. Of course, he's going to die to this. Then we, what, swap to Fischl and let her die? That's a lot of letting people die. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think we might just have to let Klee take a massive shot to the face. She'll heal the 10, take 5. Um, if he has any means of getting... Yeah, I do think we have to let Klee take the brunt of the damage here. Now, Catalyze Field's unfortunately going to, yeah, reform itself. We heal to seven again. Now we draw that. Not really useful. We do have some energy. Also not going to be totally useful in this situation. Do we keep the Electro? I mean, he's got four. That's going to do five damage. That's going to do six damage, plus catalyzing field. If they can get this off, that is lethal. Um, I think we have to keep the Electro just to be safe. None of those are good. We're probably going to have to sacrifice some energy. Futile. Elemental skill will take the one... Doesn't seem like anything we do is going to be useful. The trick might be the sacrifice Sing So here. This would be very nice, but then Klee still dies. So no matter what we do, not really a smart choice. And I do feel like the trick is to just let Sing Cho get hit and die. They can always quick swap. Chivalry will never die. Now, if they switch quick swap the Kole, that's fine. She'll still. They still have to use a dice, which is what they did. Unless they have gamblers, which they don't. He'll die, that's <gasps> fine. I am outplayed. Clee can help. Heals to two, which is not what I wanted, actually, now that I think about this. But we should still be able to get the kill. I think we Stellar Predator with... In the name of the princess in. We could always... I think Stellar Predator is going to be more important here than the energy. I don't think we're going to have the time for the energy. 
No rest for the wicked. I think that's going to no. help there with getting us over the, the finish line. We're going to get hit for one. Definitely killed. They're going to save their burst, so we kind of need to make sure that we do this round one. Unfortunately, that didn't do any damage. They're going to get hit for four. I don't think I can do four on my own. I think we might just be all over here by, like, one round here. Unless they just draw absolutely... They get no dice whatsoever, but even then, they can convert two and still win. I don't think the electro dice are going to be important. And we get them back anyways. Uh, and normal attack will do that. One shot. Unfortunately. Descent. Once again. Hit for four, but I don't think I can... Well, that's not really going to help, I don't think. That'll do one. That'll do three. Yeah, we are one damage off. And unfortunately, just not going to be able to to make that there so an unfortunate loss very close game really just a one turn difference there unless well no we won't survive so that won't proc and kill unless it just ends in a draw I, I would be surprised though as as humorous as that would be I, I would be very surprised yeah normal attack will win them that that won't proc because they won so again a literally one turn uh one turn loss there against a catalyzed deck not bad even if we had survived with one more hp they would have died right there so definitely an up in the air anyone's game on to the next okay up against a very interesting deck potentially some sort of stall there uh, Noel, Sucrose, and Diona is a very interesting combination. We are, we are up for some unique things. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Okay. The, the Diona can do freeze. We can get thrown them. around a little bit. This definitely seems like it wants to be a, somewhat of a stall deck, but I'm not sure what the Sucrose is going to do in this situation. So, very interesting to see what happens here. Uh, we've got the three electro for a ramp. I don't think we'll need anything else other than maybe... Uh, well, we've got our two hydro, so we have to worry. And we've got an omni. I think we'll be fine. A shield. I'm a rock. That's fine. I'll just do a normal attack. I'm only looking for energy here in the beginning anyways. Of course, we aren't likely to get a whole lot of energy. They'll be able to quick swap to someone, probably. Well, I'm not even sure. They could go for Crystallize with Noel, or they could go with Swirl Sucrose, but I'm not sure. Well, Swirling would help them get Crystallized later on, too. So, yeah, they have some options here. There's definitely some things that they could do, that's for sure. Going to go for Sucrose, so they're going to aim for the Swirl come next turn. And they will pretty much be guaranteed to get it, because I am going to drop this. And I still have quite a bit to go off of here. Um, do we do the card draw and heal? Might be the better use. That way we get to save this. Of course, this is this might still be the better use here. Since it's going to be harder to play, we need two of the same. They'll be able to attack first, though, and quick swap to do more freeze, so... Quite a bit of stuff going on there. So if they attack first, I use my normal attack and then try to do my burst. They could end up still freezing Sing Show, which isn't a big deal. Uh, or not too concerned about him after he gets his burst off. Well, that was unfortunate. Just pushed us into an Animo dice. Did not want that. It would also have been nice if we could have gotten this down. Maybe playing that Stand was the clear. better move. Uh, going to push. That's fine. We still have plenty of dice. I think now at this point, this is very important to get out. 
Calx's uh, arts won't help here. We can just move into Fischl then and then Klee. That's going to be no big deal either. We still have Klee's abilities there. So we can just swap into Overload and still have some potential to get Singcho's burst off for later. So they've got a lot of support going on here. Fax action back to her. Which will end up overloading into Noel if we decide to go that route. Or we could always swap back to Sing Cho, stick with the plan of getting energy and then that will heal him up and prepare him for later interesting i would have expected that on diona since that would have been perhaps a stronger enemy to kill since noel is mostly going to be doing normal attacks uh may knowledge guide you We could Calx's Arts, but I don't know if that's going to be necessary. They could always just Sucrose push us off again. Um, but I think Calx, yeah, Calx's Arts here can work. And then we can sacrifice the Hash Browns to get that off. Ring cutter. We'll certainly get frozen, or even perhaps... Ooh, now that I think about it, mm-mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen. A swirl into that would In freeze the, the whole the team. Princessin. No, we aren't gonna let that one happen. We will happily switch back to Sucrose there. Unfortunately, we only get the one heal instead of the two. A bit of a waste, but not the end of the world for us. Or switch back to Sucrose. Switch back to Fischl. They're probably going to switch back to Sucrose. It'll at least guarantee them a freeze on the Sing Show, or maybe they'll start going for Crystallize. Uh, quite a bit of Electro, a little bit of Pyro, some Hydro that we don't really need. Okay, we can place down a Timmy to help with the ramp, too. Shake it and stir. I see pause, that's fine. We can play the Timmy. Now we could normal attack just for the two. Could use Oz, which won't do anything. We don't have Stellar Predator on hand, unfortunately, so that is going to be a bit of an issue. So I think it's better just to start generating some card draw, maybe work into our next ramp. They're gonna start trying to work into her burst. Or that. That is certainly a scary thing. It looks like they're setting up for a lot of chip damage between Sucrose and Diona to then slam into into with Noel. So maybe losing out on those healing items was a bit of a tricky play. We definitely are going to need to be careful here of what we're doing. They're using all of their, their food there, though. Um, normal attack would do the three damage and electro charge there. But I feel like swapping to Klee is going to be the better choice here. And doing that. Oof. 
we won't get a charge attack. We're gonna have to give away something. I feel like the value of these is just too good, so we're gonna have to give away that. Um, we don't have our uh, gambler's earring on, unfortunately. Can't keep my eyes open. Nice. Okay, that's going to be pretty good. We've got the quick swap to try to work with things. Definitely going to have to be careful. Wolf's Gravestone is certainly a thing that we do not want to play around with. We could potentially get the burst out. That could be useful. I don't think I'm going to want to go Hydro. Not with, not with this turn. Definitely don't want Dendro or Cryo, though. Those won't help us at all. Okay, the Noel will... Probably, ooh, fast action. Are we gonna fast action into a swirl to push off? Animal test, 6308. Elemental skill. Previous character will push us back to there. That's no big deal. Now we do have to worry about this. Um, so we have to be very careful here. Ta-da, Queen's here. Be five, but I think we'll get six if we do that. Yeah, that will be a kill right there. And then we have enough for her burst. My research has failed. This is still going to do a ton of damage. We'll probably get hit for like what four. Now it looks like it's just saying three. The heal on that. Replacing the Catherine makes sense. You're not going to be able to switch. Now that would do four right there and certainly be good use of our dice, but I feel like this will probably be better use than we can card draw. <laughs> That way, they're more apt to kill themselves next turn. And we can always quick swap to official to finish off with whatever we need, perhaps Oz. Oh, I forgot. That's going to be a lot of healing right there. Yeah, this might be a bit tricky now. I forgot about their extra healing that they have. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Hydro open, just in case we do need to go to Sing So for something, getting the... We've got another one of these that can be tuned. We do have Fischl Stellar Predator, which is gonna be useful. I'm assuming we're gonna see a shield now. It's literally 3v1. I can't imagine Leave we'd see anything me. else. Yep. Not to mention it heals, but we break the shield right there. Now, if that were to come at us, plus one damage and then plus two, that would be six. That would be lethal right there. So perhaps we don't do that and instead go into Stellar Predator and keep Klee alive. In the name of the princess in. Oz, reveal thyself. Them applying more pyro to themselves is going to be good. It's going to give us extra damage. Are they going to go for another shield to try to negate that? I must Looks like it. Unturned. It's also cheaper for them. They get to crystallize. But it all pretty much is going to be exploding. That'll do four, which means if they attack again, they will end up killing themselves, which would be good for us. 
They do, they get that, but that's fine because they will end up dying right here from... Oh, never mind, it wasn't even on there. I'm being silly again. I am a disgrace to the night. So pretty good, pretty good matchup there against uh, an interesting Noel deck. Seemed like it wanted to go for crystallized chip damage between the Diona and Sucrose and then keep on going for cleaning up with the Noel. Very interesting deck. Okay, let's move on to the next. Okay. Up against a Cryo Resonance Sucrose deck, so we can probably expect to see some surprise Cryo Dice and Cryo Damage Buffing cards. And since it has Sucrose into a single element team, probably can expect to see Sucrose's skill card for her burst. So, a few things to look out for. The skill card for Sucrose's burst will definitely be a problem if not dealt with pretty quickly. Mm, do we want to keep Fischl's? Yeah, I think we can run with this. We still probably want to get Sing Cho out early, but Your we can use Fischl's ability to, uh... To help close things out if needed. Uh, we definitely are gonna want at least a single Hydro Dice there. Which we did not get. We got an Omni Dice, so that'll help. Lots of Cryo. We have at least one Omni Dice, though, so that will... That'll allow us to do a normal attack. We won't do any kind of... Hydro to not get swirled and to freeze, so that'll be fine. We will, however, get hit with that, though, next turn. And that is a lot of support. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on here. Now, we could try to convert something to save and do some damage and that way we save this as well um we will want the quick swap for next turn when we do our attack we're very likely going to get frozen so i think perhaps getting rid of this might be the best choice here that or official's card would have been perhaps better as well. Um, especially since we didn't have much healing, that could have been a smarter idea. And there's all the Omni Dice we could ever need for doing our combo. We'll see if we get more Electro or more Pyro. Looks like more Electro, so this might be also a turn to get Fischl out. Okay, we could also theoretically drop that, but I don't think I want to do that. This is going to be the better choice. We'll get Frozen, but that's why we have the Quick Swap, so it won't be that big of a deal. Interesting. I was expecting a quick swap into like Diona since the bow is on there to freeze Sing Cho. That didn't happen. However, we can probably get a kill off with Klee now. So I think that's what we'll do here. Klee can help. That will do five. This will give us some abilities to heal as needed. Need to make adjustments. Mm, 
Now we could see a surprise dice perhaps. Surprise cryo die for freeze. So I'd be a little silly to use at this point. Okay, we have options. We could heal Sing Cho. We could go for card draws. We could go for energy on Klee. I feel like the card draw is probably the smartest choice at this point, though. And then with that there, that can help with swapping into Fischl. Again, we are very likely to get frozen, though, so that will be a problem that we will have to address. Okay, the converting of dice is going to be pretty important here. I'm going to get rid of the pyro. We clearly won't have a chance to use it. It's going to be more on the electro and hydro. This may also be a turn where we put down our ramp instead, since we are going to take a lot of a lot of freeze damage here. Freeze. Okay. As expected, now Diona is out. That could be double freeze. We don't have a quick swap here, so it'd be pointless to try to switch to Fischl. She'd just get frozen. So perhaps the best choice is to go back to Zing Choven. And then we will save our Chivalry will Electro die. Dice, not let the opponent know that we are likely going to use them on this. And then they might be willing to use all of their dice. They should still, if they use a skill, be able to get yeah, another dice because I believe there was a sacrificial bow on there. That's fine. So we'll definitely take another hit. I am actually going to save that and just use these. It uses one of our one of our burst abilities, but we should still be fine. Okay, quick swap to Kaya. Place our ramp and give a pizza to Klee. Okay, we've got plenty of energy. We could surprise burst with Klee. And it looks like we might just be able to do that. Uh, I'm gonna probably switch off of Sing Show pretty much immediately. Yeah, this looks like good potential for surprise Klee burst. Though that would end up using most of our dice, it might be better to... Uh, it would certainly help deal with... This. The, the various shield effects. opponent could attack and then still have enough for a burst. So that could be a big problem, especially with Diona's skill card activated. That's a lot of shield. It looks like they're going to go for that instead. 
Um, that would only do three. I'm not too concerned about how much damage this would do immediately. If we were to do burst, we could also save for burst next round as well. Or even still do it this round after this. Jumpy, jumpy, go! Elemental skill, okay. And that'll be six there. We can also heal, which will be very necessary. That'll take us back up to seven by the end of the turn with the pizza. Uh, this might be the best choice here. I wonder if I want to use... I have an idea that might be a bit strange. I don't want to use the Hydro Dice. I might swap to Sing Cho and then use his burst here. Because they're likely to end turn. And then we can get Sing Cho's burst off. Will he likely die because of it? Yes, but this could still be advantageous for us. Unfortunately, we won't get the heal off on Klee, but we should be fine. That'll only do one. Now, if they draw some sort of... It may be best to put on Fischl for next turn, since Freeze... Okay. We could burst. We could... Just swap back, which I think is going to be the more prudent approach here. May knowledge guide you. Witness the power of Gugwa. There we go. So we end up frozen. That's fine. He'll die. Also fine. We could easily switch into Fischl. And, like, instantly burst as well with these. There's there's a lot of options that we have right now. Uh, we probably won't need any of this, actually. So depending on what we roll here, I do believe we still have... Yeah, it's a lot of Electro. This is looking like a official swap. Ellen. These numbers are getting pretty large, so perhaps an Aquila Favonia could come out, or even a uh, Blizzard Strayer. Else, there isn't much value that these are paying off of in their deck right now if they aren't drawing their artifacts and weapons. Fast action over there, so we could be seeing Burst come out. Nice he pause will kill. Good. Outplayed. Now the question here is, do we we can't switch into her for this. Which was my initial plan. Clee can help. Okay. I still think we go with perhaps this. And then also the heal. We can play Timmy as well.
Sacrificial bow. I thought Sacrificial bow was already on there. And then Timmy replacing Wagner makes sense. I think even if they use shield or burst, they're pretty much dead here. And then once we... We may be able to switch into... Fischl to do the burst and kill as well, potentially. Especially since we'd only need to use one of these... I believe we'll also, once we kill, be able to switch to Fischl, Burst, and kill the Kaya as well. Think you can bully me? That's fine. Takes care of the shield, and this will be five. We may not actually, now that I think about it, we might be one dice short. Normal attack will explode, and we didn't even need to. Well, an interesting deck. Um, definitely showcasing Klee's burst paying off there, and getting around what seemed to be a more of an equipment-based deck. So, pretty good. On to the next one. Ah, oh, interesting. Post-nerf Yoimiya. So we've got Pyro Resonance, we've got Sing Show. Sing Show is going to need to go down first, very quickly at that. So we are definitely going to need to consider how we're going to go about doing that. Um, yeah, I think this will be this will be fine because once Sing Show goes down on their side, they lose a lot of their a lot of their their killing power. So that's going to be big. The Bennett is also going to be pretty, pretty scary. So let's see what we end up running into here. Um, that's enough to do a turn one burst, which I will probably take. Uh, I think I'll accept this because we could... I, I don't think this matters. We'll turn one burst here. has a Chang the Ninth of their own. Normal attack as well, looking very much like a mirror match right now. Ring cutter. Now, unfortunately, we do set ourselves up where they could quick swap Vaporize immediately if they so choose. Uh, would that be a massive issue for us? I mean, it would take us to three, so that would be concerning, especially since we don't have a quick swap option. It looks like they're probably going to go for a skill, though. Yeah, they're going to go for the skill. And that's understandable. Without the quick swap, though, even with the quick swap, we certainly don't have the means to kill before they get their burst off, which is very concerning. Calx's arts will not help us here. Okay, let's see what we have. A lot of pyro to work with. We're gonna get rid of all of this other mess. We still aren't running into a lot of our ramp here, unfortunately. Ta-da! Klee's here! Okay, we will swap to the Klee. They'll almost certainly use the Burst, maybe even put on a Lotus Crisp if they have it. Yeah, they Rank are willing to sacrifice a card for it, understandable. Now, if they have a Quick Swap, that could be a problem. 
going to do four and also give us some cards. We can always sacrifice that. So they're willing to sacrifice this thing so there. They don't have anything for quick swap. So the question is, do we kill? Do we kill the thing so? We aren't going to gain much from it. Um, I mean, we will gain a massive advantage in terms of damage, but we're going to lose that when we take a five to the face without much of a means of healing. So I think the better option is to actually let the Sing So live. And drop these. An unfortunate one waste, but... They're very likely to swap the Sing So, or maybe they have... I haven't lost yet that they can work with. We're going to get rid of all... Ooh, not that. Get rid of all that Hydra, though. Ooh, almost an Omni. Okay, are they willing to quick swap, or are they going to normal attack? Normal attack would give them card draw. That's exactly what they're going to go for. They're looking to do some damage. Mm. Maybe that wasn't too smart, now that I think about it. Uh, however, we can get them to that goes up to eight. Again, we could kill with the four here, but then they're certainly going. To, I think we just swap the official the and stellar predator. Try to make them waste their uses here as much as possible. We've got plenty of healing to outheal them if needed. Unfortunately, we will have Hydro applied to like pretty much everyone. That's fine. Hmm. There's no real way that I'm going to avoid them getting this, which is a problem. They also have the potential to just burst again. So I think we just kill at this point. I have taught you Actually, never everything. mind, no, because this didn't I trigger from a know. skill. It triggered from the passive of the burst. That wouldn't go off. So now they can choose whether or not they want to do anything. I can still attack them with an elemental attack next. Oh, that did go off. Never mind. I was wondering, because it says elemental skill, but it didn't initially pop off. Okay, are they going to sacrifice something for elemental skill? Yes. That's one. That won't work. Um, they could have a surprise pyro dice in hand. If that's the case, that's going to be a major problem. However, this will heal us up to five. Which will still get us killed, though? Well, no, it won't, because we won't have the thing attached to it. Uh, risky maneuver, but perhaps we do this. If they have a pyro dice in hand, we could be seeing another elemental skill. They're, unless they have two, we won't see an elemental burst, though. So I'm willing to take the risk here, but I'm guessing they might just end if they don't have the dice. They might also swap to Yoimiya and use her skill just to get it ready. We don't have the quick swap means to 
hit with Klee, though, so this is dangerous. And we will have to worry about Bennett's burst. Especially if they have Bennett's, bur uh, Bennett's burst skill card. They did have the elemental dice. I expected it. No, if that if that's gonna be a nor really, they're gonna go for that. Interesting. Okay, they will still get the kill off. Well, maybe they won't. It depends. Even with a yeah, even with a normal attack, they won't be able to kill the five. So we should be fine. We could also always burst here and take away from that using Calx's arts if Fischl survives. That is an option. Oh, don't knock into that. Ooh, that was sad to see. At least we have this, and we can elemental tune that. Okay, let's see. They're probably going to burst at this point. I can't imagine them doing anything other than that. Yep, they have their skill as well. That's going to be concerning. Which is at three. If we were to do that, that would only put them at five, but it would potentially... Mm, then they would heal to seven. We wouldn't be able to kill a seven. Would this be worth it? It would do two to her. This would do six. We wouldn't get the burst off, though. That's the problem. Even if we go to five now, it wouldn't really matter. You're, you're talking a, a lot of damage just from this doing plus two. And then a normal attack would be an instant death anyways. I do think we have to get the damage down. It's going to be hard enough dealing with Yoimiya with a Vaporize. Uh, I think we just need the, the, the damage down. And then save this for Klee. Unfortunately, we don't have any. I haven't lost yet uh, cards to give more energy or anything. They'll likely elemental skill just to save the normal attack. Now, if they have a Lucky Dogs artifact plus the elemental skill, that would be a problem. No, they're going to normal attack. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I am 100% fine with that. Sing Cho can easily... Well, no, nah, nah, that was dumb of me now. No, it wasn't. We lose Sing Cho's, but that might still be fine. Maybe. Mm, no. Well, maybe. No, Yoimiya doesn't have yet, so. Do that. Into this. This is just my. She does have one energy. Now she can she can't do her attack yet, which is going to be useful for us. So they might they've got 3 dice. I can't imagine them not doing some sort of move or just leaving and chill. Interesting. Okay, let's think. That'll do plus 1 pyro damage. Which will be three. Plus the two. That'll be five. Plus two will be seven. I think we get away with it. I think we just narrowly get away with it. Of course, we do have to worry about the fact that Klee 2 has a massive target on her head with that hydro.
Yeah, this is a now or never turn here. We've got everything that we need. And card draw, so we might be able to draw something something good. But it is definitely a now or never move. She still has to do her pyro ability. So that will be beneficial to us. But this is certainly it. If we get quick swap, we might be able to do something. Parametric Transformer seems like an odd choice in this situation. She has to realize that this is this is it. Do we card draw first? Yeah, I think we card draw first, see what's going on. This is gonna be important. We're pretty much guaranteed to lose Sing So. Ring cutter. But we did get the Hydro on, so that's gonna be a lot of damage. We just now need to make sure that we don't get murdered here. And I think we'll be fine. I think even with... Even with this attacking. Since she didn't have the skill for Yoemiya, this will... This will work. We'll, we'll still live. Because they won't be able to kill Sing Cho in one hit. Unless they have something else up their sleeve. A bow, perhaps. Or maybe food for normal attack buffs. That would be another option. But I don't think they have any of that. They do have this. That's going to be a slight dilemma. But it won't be too bad. Because again, we'll sacrifice Sing Cho for it. As long as we can get her to 6. Klee will be able to handle the rest. Ooh, okay, okay, never mind. Should have thought of that. That might kill. I have taught you everything I know. However, will they be able to attack again? That's the question. That's going to be three, and then that'll be two. This should be lethal unless, well, mm, oh, and I didn't heal, did I? I should have healed. I, yep. Yeah. Oh, that was a big misplay on my part. Oh my god, if I had healed. Well, it wouldn't have mattered, actually. Very good on their part. They still managed to get through with that. Again, very close. Shows the value of elemental resonance right there. Ah, looks like we've got ourselves potential for freeze and melt. That's going to be, and vaporize. So that's going to be a... Bit of a tricky one to work around here. We're going to have to probably be swapping quite a bit. I don't... We, we may want this, considering I said we'll need to be swapping a bit. I don't think we will need that card yet. Our opponent may go Chivalry for... Will never probably die. will go for trying to think that we're going to use our skill to freeze. That's fine. Yeah, we've got the Omni, we've got a lot of Pyro, we've got this. I'm just going to reroll this. We may automatically swap into the Pyro here. They'll most certainly use their skill here. Lieben. Normal attack, okay, interesting. I'm fine with that. Now, do I just instantaneously skill here? We don't really have the, the dice for it, so I don't think I do. I think I just go with the normal attack, and then not worry about sacrificing a bunch of dice. We can always do a draw into something. Another normal attack. Interesting. I'm curious as to what they're setting up for here. We don't have much for heals, so we are very much likely to get vaporized murdered here. So I think having the quick swap and then now having this 
would be a good idea. They're going to put that into heal and end up gaining two. Interesting. They're using that. Are they going to look for... That does seven damage. I do see where they're going with this. Very interesting. But will they, will they get it off? That is the question. We don't have much for Hydro, so we might just quick swap to somebody instead, since we don't have Hydro. That would also throw a bit of a wrench into their plan. They don't have their burst yet, but if they have any kind of card that will grant them energy, they can certainly get their burst. So, do we quick swap? Do we go with this? If we quick swap, do we quick swap the Fischl? Do we quick swap the Klee? We certainly have Klee's ability. We don't have Fischl's. However, they could very easily get their burst off if they have... I don't want to do seven. We certainly won't be able to do seven in one hit. So we won't be able to immediately get her back around. Um, I say we risk it. I say we go for it. Rain cutter. This might not be the smartest uh, move, but we are one ahead. If they have free energy, which I'm guessing they do, we sacrifice it and we still get this to play along. No, it's just a normal attack. Okay. Now they have this. Now this is where we have to be very careful with what we're going to do. Because Klee can get hit for 7, and that is extremely dangerous for us. Klee can help. That would do 5. This would do 5 as well. They certainly have the means to do the 7 too, so. Unfortunately, you don't have anything like Shenha to push us over there. They do, so they're gonna burst into it. Spirit Makes blade. sense. Attack. In this thing, so for the freeze, fair enough. Now, do we go into official, perhaps? We could also heal. That would get us to 5, but we'd. Well, we'd still be able to go first, so. Yeah, I think we do the heal and then end a turn, knowing that we'll be able to go first. Yeah, that can be tuned. Yeah, it looks like we're getting quite a bit of Electro. It's like the world is certainly telling us you probably want to switch to Fischl. Unfortunately, we don't really have our ramp out yet. We didn't draw a whole lot of it. We went for more of an energy... Uh energy team there i mean we could hit for six but we will inevitably get frozen so it is a bit silly to even try and we probably want Klee to gain some amount of hp back especially since vaporize or a uh, melt could be quite a problem here However, they have enough dice to probably get their bursts off, depending on how many... How many, uh... Yeah, I think we switched official here. The threads of your fate lie in my hands. Depending on how many... Hydro dice they have in their hands and how many cards they're willing to sacrifice for them. They could get their burst off. They're going for more of a ramp too, so it's really a mid-range ramp battle. Interesting choice. Rain outlines your fate. Very interesting to do that when you know that I have the means here. 
I could just attack for four. And then save it for Klee to get a kill off on. Unless, of course, they swap, which will be fine. Healed him. Now, Klee won't do six because of the rain sword. It'll be two. She'll do five. But she can do five twice, so. And we have gamblers, so I think that might be... Well, she won't be able to do five twice because we're going to end up losing. Hmm. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? I forgot about that. If we had just one more dice, we would have been able to, to get the kill right there. Still don't think I want to go back to Sing So, not quite until I'm closer to needing his burst again. Okay, they're going to have quite a lot of dice to work with here, so we're going to expect a, a big turnout from them. Normal attack. Now, again, we could do that. We could do that for four. We can't quick swap. Where he's going to get that burst off, I think, no matter what we do now. Maybe it would have been more prudent to do the one attack and then stop them from getting the burst. Odd, reveal thyself. The, the next turn might have made it more valuable that way. Now we draw Stellar Predator, of course. Let Elemental burst, burst, as expected. We did that. That would be pretty good. I think that might be the play here, actually. It's it's the play for value, for sure. Wings of darkness, come, sever night from day. I am outplayed. They still can do a move here. They're going to get rid of the Oz, though. That's fine. And give themselves energy. That is also fine. I'm not too concerned with that. And then that, I am a tad bit concerned with. But mm, am I concerned enough to heal her over Klee? When Klee is going to be the one who's going to end up... Well, Klee will get frozen here if we're not careful. And we still have to deal with that. That is a problem. This is a major issue. An elemental skill won't kill, but it will set up for a kill. So maybe I want to have two of her attacks. Perhaps Stellar and then something else. Yeah, the sooner we get him out of the way, the better here. The sooner we get that shield out of the way, really. Okay, plenty of Electro. We're getting some fairly good luck when it comes to these dice rolls, especially considering we don't have much for dice rigging. Okay. Now, we could do four, and that would definitely... 
be, yeah, that would probably be the smart choice. We'll only have one of these left, but it'll certainly be the smartest choice. It also gets Hydro onto the opponent. Even if they hit for two, it'll only do four. We'll be able to hit again and certainly kill. And then even when she dies, we still have the energy, so. Ah, here we go with this. Nice. Oh, they're going to go for the extra dice. That won't save them because we'll still be able to swap to her and then do what we need to. One uh, shot. Descent once again. Okay, we don't have. Well, now we're gonna have even dice. So this will kill that, and then that will fire there off to go there. No excuse for defeat. Which will get the kill. After all that training. So yeah, pretty good match. Again, a fairly interesting uh, team comp we were up against. Had vaporize, had melt, had freeze, had the whole works there. But we were able to come on top there. Definitely didn't start exactly how we could have uh, expected it, but came out pretty good in the end. So yeah, some very, very good close matches against numerous different types of decks here. Uh, there's definitely a lot that can be said about Klee's ability to attack for only two with her charge attack. Uh, there's a lot to be said about just the various combos that can be done between Singcho and Klee and also with Fischl. The ramp cards being very important early on to get. Uh, there's also a lot to be said about how easy it is to make misplays with this team, considering the fact that Singsho can apply Hydro to himself. That's something to consider for getting attacked. Uh, is it worth sacrificing Singsho to activate the I haven't lost yet effects, or is it worth saving him? Uh, maybe to use as a meat shield later on, or perhaps just to have maybe a second burst come out. Um, there's a lot to be said here about the the various various combinations. Even, is it even better to start with Singsho over Fischl? Uh Really, just kind of depends on your matchup and what you draw on that opening hand. So, a lot of different ways to play this deck, depending on what you need to be dealing with. But it definitely cannot be understated how valuable Klee is with her two cost charge attacks in this deck to make it work, especially considering that it uh, counts as a normal attack, and that our deck not having much for dice rigging other than these two cards definitely needs it. So yeah, definitely a really fun deck, and would go fish blasting again with Klee. So if you enjoy this deck and want to give it a try yourselves, feel free to do so, and let me know in the comments how it goes. Again, maybe not the most meta-defining deck here, but certainly a fun deck that will result in a lot of very tense, close matches. So let me know how it goes if you decide to do it. Feel free to subscribe and get the notifications for other TCG and Teapot videos. And until then, I will see you next time.